Welcome back to SA Live. Well, soccer is a popular sport for kids, and it is gaining in popularity. But you can't keep your kiddos safe from soccer injuries with some prevention tips. And Dr. Christian Baladin from TSAOG Orthopedics is here to share more. All right, let's talk a little bit about soccer because it is becoming more and more popular. And I'm yes. seeing itty-bitty and itty-bittier little kids starting to play it. What are we... Are we seeing an increase in injuries with soccer? Well, because of the higher number of people that are mm -hmm. playing it, we're seeing an increase in uh, number of injuries from simple things such as sprains to broken bones at a younger age to uh, concussions and torn ACLs at a slightly older age. Let's talk about ACL injuries. Right. What exactly is it for folks that may not be familiar? So ACL stands for anterior cruciate ligament, and so that's actually one of the main ligaments of the knee that's inside the middle of the knee. And it prevents anterior translation of the, the bottom portion of the knee from coming forward, as well as very important in um, um, rotational stability. And so you can injure it in any sport that you have a lot of change of direction, uh, such as in soccer. I and here's see. actually a diagram that we brought uh, today showing a, a simplistic view of an uh, ACL. And here's the, the intact ACL, stands again for anterior cruciate ligament, as you can see up here. And in the back of it is the PCL, which is the posterior cruciate ligament. And obviously here is the, uh, the torn section of the um, uh, ACL. Now, you mentioned in the sport of soccer, of course, you change direction a lot. So mm -hmm. is that why uh, ACL tears are so common in that sport? So it's a, a number of factors. Uh, part of it is an imbalance between the strength of the quadriceps and the, the hamstring muscles uh, okay. within the thigh, and also landing mechanics and core strength. And so it's important to implement uh, you know, different programs that strengthens that. So what can parents do, or people in general, to help prevent ACL tears? So number one is just make sure you're in good shape. Make mm -hmm. sure that you do, you're doing um, proper training. Uh, staying hydrated, and uh, as well as uh, ensuring that you're having the proper landing mechanics. We're seeing a lot of injuries occur when people are landing and their knee doesn't, doesn't normally um, um, uh, uh, rotate the way it should when it lands, and so we're seeing a, a lot of tears that way. Okay, so let's talk about protective gear needed right. in soccer. What should parents make sure their kids have? So the simple thing about soccer is you really just need a ball, right? Uh, and uh, once you get a little bit older, uh, you need good shoes and so forth. But as far as protective gear, the only thing we wear is uh, shin guards. Yeah. So nice and uh, relatively inexpensive. So that and just make sure you're landing properly. That, Keep that in mind. Okay, we've that. got some soccer in the news this weekend as San Antonio Sports in the city of San Antonio will host the area's first Con CONCACAF Gold Cup. Now TSA, OG, and orth uh, or uh, Orthopedics you guys are actually providing medical coverage for this event. That's right. So us, along with San Antonio Sports and the U.S. Soccer Federation, we're, we're providing the medical coverage here, and, and um, um, we're uh, assisting anybody that gets hurt during the game and, and ensuring that if they do uh, get hurt, we uh, provide treatment. So if a parent notices that their, their child might have a knee injury, what is the first thing that they, they should do, things they should keep in mind? Well, the number one thing is just, just watch them, uh, hold them out of sports, obviously, in the beginning. Make sure that they're able to walk and not limp significantly. And if they're limping, they're complaining of pain, then they, sh they should seek an opinion regarding that. Because it could be something worse, It could right? be something more serious. You know, it doesn't have to be an ACL mm -hmm. tear. It can be something simple, such right. as a minor, minor strain or sprain. Uh, but uh, you want to be on the safe side. All right. Good stuff from Dr. Christian Baladin. Thank you so much from TSAOG Orthopedics. For more information on TSAOG Orthopedics, just head to eight oh uh, call 804-5400. That's 804-5400. Or head to TSAOG.com for more information. All right. Coming up, we asked you earlier if you